On today's episode, we are going to be looking at this 14 inch Hitachi chop saw. Uh, I picked up a fused for 40 bucks off the Facebook Marketplace locally. Um, now, I need something to cut my tube for my tube friend. So I picked this up. One thing is, though, I hate these. I hate how du how much dust they make. Um, so I want to turn it into a dry cut saw. The problem with the Satachi chop saw, like just about any other abrasive chop saw, is that they're rated at 3,700 RPM. Why is that a problem? That is a problem because when you put a cold cut saw on your abrasive chop saw, it's only supposed to spin at a maximum RPM of 1500 RPM. As I just found out recently, this is a universal motor, which means it'll run off AC or DC. So we're gonna run some tests. First thing I wanna try is hooking it up to this jump pack, which outputs 12 volts. All right. That's hooked up. So that's only spinning at about 200 RPM. So a little too slow. The next thing I want to try is this Milwaukee M18 battery pack that I made some jumpers for and hooked it up straight into the power cord. That's a lot better. That's about 700. And I want to give a try at cutting that eighth inch thick to one and a half inch tubing. Pretty impressive. But if I had to do that every single time, that would suck. Also, I'm not gonna kill a whole battery every time I wanna make a cut. Well, now we find a power supply that can run this. And we wanna run it closer to the 1500 RPM range. So if you get the 120 volt divided by the square root of two, which is about 1.4, you get something like 85 volts DC. And we want to go from 3,700 to 15. So if you divide them, you get about 2.5. And if you take 85 and divide that by 2.5, you get something like 34-ish volts. So we need a power supply that puts out 34 volts at around 15 amps. So here is a DPI AccuSense battery charger, 48 volt. Now at first I couldn't get the power on, so I took it apart, which you're not supposed to, and um, found that relay there. 
and I figured that relay is bad because it wasn't powering on. So I used a screwdriver to jump the two power cables. Right? Okay, so now we have a connection bypass the relay. I'm not sure if that's safe or not. Then there's three wires coming off this uh, transformer coil. I tested two of them and there were 120, I think. Uh, and then I tested these two wires. So one coming off that and the other one coming off somewhere else. And I plugged those into the extension cord and check this out. I'm pretty sure that's almost dead on 1500 RPM. So I'll have to get a laser tachometer to check, but I'm pretty sure I got it. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this up, make it a little bit less sketchy. It is now the next day. Okay, so it's now the next day. I have put it back together and I've used self-sealing heat shrink butt connectors to connect everything up the way it's not supposed to be. And I'm just gone ahead and plugged it in. And now we're gonna test it. Make sure to put on some eye protection. And let's give it a go. It's maybe not a, a cold cut saw, slightly warm cut saw maybe, but it did cut very, very cleanly, which is what we're after. So yeah, that's how not to, uh, even though it works, that's how not to build a cold cut saw. Um, we'll have to come back and test the voltage, see where we're at, if we actually are anywhere near ballpark. Blade speed seems to be okay. Blade torque seems to be okay. Uh, it's not blowing the the breaker and it's not blowing the power strip, so. In conclusion, it works. Uh, and I'm gonna be using it to make my tooth front end. Um, how much did it cost? Used chop saw was 40 bucks. Used golf cart battery charger was about 40 bucks. And the blade brand new was about 80. So that's not too bad. 160 bucks. And you can get one of these for anywhere from about four to four hundred dollars to six hundred dollars for a basic one. To get a, a an actual dry cut saw, cold cut saw. Um so it's entirely up to you, but I probably wouldn't recommend doing this. I'd say save up and uh, just buy the chop saw that you need. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one.